Good morning, everybody. How are you all? Hope you are doing great today. So here I go. Solve for z where z is greater than zero. Do not rationalize the denominator. x is equal to 2yz squared. Find z when x is equal to 54 and y equal to 3. So first, let's write the equation. x is equal to 2y z square. We have to solve for z. So we will have to isolate z. That is, remove the coefficient of z square, which is 2y. You can only do that if you divide by 2y on both sides of the equation. Because it's an equation, what you do on the right-hand side, you have to do on the left-hand side too. So hence it becomes x divided by 2y on the right-hand side, 2y in the numerator, 2y in the denominator cancel out. So you have to take the uh, z square by itself because 2y divided by 2y, they cancel each other out. Now, you have to take the square root, okay? So, on both sides. So, square root of x over 2y is equal to square root of z square. Or, square root of x over 2y is equal to z. Notice here, I did not consider the negative value of square root of x over 2y. Why? Because it is given z is greater than 0. That means z is positive. Do not quit right away. Do not leave me right away because I will give you an important tip at the end of this program. Okay, so please hang around. Also, please subscribe to my channel, Math Science Topia, where I've solved all kinds of algebra problems just for you. So please check out my playlist, Algebra Problems, where there are tons of algebra problems solved just for you. Anyway, now we go back to the part B of the problem, which says find Z when X is equal to 54 and Y equal to 3. So first we create some space. Okay. So find Z. So with this part we are doing Find z when x is equal to 54 and y equal to 3. So this is square root of x is 54 and y is 3. 2 multiplied by 3 and that is equal to z. Okay. So... That square root of uh, now 54 can be written as 6 multiplied by 9 divided by 2 times 3 is equal to z. Or square root of 6 times 9 divided by 6 is equal to z. Why did I do it like this? Because then 6 cancels with 6. 6 in the numerator cancel with 6 in the denominator. And we are le left with z is square root of 9. And here we will only consider the positive value of z because z is greater than 0. So this is the final answer to the problem z is 3. And we do not consider the negative value because it's given in the problem statement z greater than zero. I'll stop here today. If you have any question or comment, please write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. The important hint or tip I wanted to give you that if they did not mention z is greater than zero, that is z is positive, then the answer for z would have been 
plus minus three. Minus three would have been a possibility two if z is less than zero. Here z is only greater than zero, so we are forgetting the minus three part. But normally, when you take square root, you have to consider plus as well as the minus. So in normal circumstances, z would have been plus minus three, not here because z is greater than zero. Again, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. My channel, in my channel, Math Science Topia, I have solved all kinds of algebra problems just for you. <coughs> please check out my playlist, Al Algebra Problems, where we have all kinds of algebra problems solved for you. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Okay, and please uh, come back tomorrow when I'll solve another problem, another solution. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.